Morning, everybody. Welcome to Tiny House Retreat in the high mountains of Arizona. This is a custom-built tiny home, 22 foot long, eight and a half feet wide, on a steel frame. Carson trailer, 16 center joist spacing. Uh, boxed steel frame for the building itself. Uh, the deck here is built independently of the house. House is removable and detachable, of course. Uh, house is 13 and a half feet tall to allow for road travel. Uh, galvanized steel trim and corners. T111 siding, stained. Um, about three coats on this stuff. Uh, a lot of the focus in this house was really made for longevity and overall durability. Uh, many tiny homes are made for primary function and uh, comfort. Well, this one does have a lot of those features uh, for basics, basic comfort. Uh, mostly it is built for the long haul and for withstanding many different types of climates. Um, this home is very light, about 8,500 pounds. Um, it's a double axle trailer with trailer brakes, uh, so it's very mobile. Uh, interior siding um, is a cedar. Um, we used uh, an extruded polystyrene insulation. Um, very high grade plumbing, used uh, Upanor PEX product uh, that is made to last 100 years. Uh, everything in the design and build of this home was very carefully thought of uh, in terms of longevity. So we wanted the home to last as long as possible. Um, so we didn't do any slide outs, we didn't do any removable walls, we didn't do expandable lofts. Um, we did, however, ensure that the frame uh, was in three separate sections uh, so as to maintain structural integrity. So the first portion of the frame when we built this uh, was the bottom section, which is um, top plated uh, and ends right about the eight foot mark. The second section of the frame is the loft section up higher. Uh, and that is a pony frame that's independent and then bolted together to the bottom portion of the frame. And then our lofts themselves are framed independently of those two frames. Uh, and those actually affix the two structures together. So it provides an overall rigidity and um, an amazing strength. So this home is made to carry six feet of snow at any given time. Uh, can handle 120 mile an hour winds, uh, 120 degree heat, and with the steel insulated doors and double pane argon windows, we really have something that is comfortable, it's beautiful, and is going to last a long time. The home was pulled down the freeway at 80 miles an hour with a V6 truck. So again, very easy to pull, very mobile, very lightweight. Uh, butcher block, maple, hardwood countertop, uh, custom finished plywood cabinetry, cork flooring, <coughs> Uh, custom Marrakesh tile up the stairs. Of course, you've got your normal type stuff for storage. Little cubbies here and there. Little hidden areas to be able to put whatever you need. Hidden spots behind the stairs. Places to store whatever goodies.
extra cubbies. Additional storage. Right now I'm using this as an Airbnb, so uh, this is pretty well cleaned out. I don't have a lot of uh, the normal stuff in here, but um, pretty basic. You know, just spots for hidden compartments. A little bit of closet space here. Uh, very expandable. Um, there's actually further storage and shelving uh, that could be put in here. Spice rack, whatever you wish to use that for. More storage being used for games and stuff for guests right now. Workspace, table, just a space to be able to convert everything to what you need. Uh, plenty of room. I did have a couch in here at one point. But it's pretty basic for long-term living. Uh, I was able to make about three years here. And I liked it. Um, but I have a daughter and uh, she started out growing it. And so it was time to move on. And we've done really well with just the basics. <laughs> Neo angle shower. <laughs> Laundry storage. Linens and other types of things. <laughs> A very wide open feel to the house. More storage here. One of the lofts is accessed by a ladder, the other one is by stairs. Um, we have a 13 and a half cubic foot refrigerator that runs on DC power and that provides a very, very low amperage draw of about two amps. And then a six gallon water heater there. Uh, that takes care of about a 10 minute shower if you're frugal. And then more storage, lots of cabinet space. Um, no, it stays clean. It stays fresh. It's got lots of sunshine where we're at. So this house can be moved for sale. Or it can be bought as a unit with the deck. And I'll show you the deck out here. Um, the house is solar powered. It's uh, an off-grid system. So it's uh, four 300 watt solar panels feeding a battery bank of 700 amp hours. So enough to be able to run your vacuum, blender, and whatever else you need. Uh, this deck is built on piers. So it's semi-permanent. It's built to be moved if it has to be. Uh, the deck is about 300 square feet. Uh, four by 10 beams, four by four posts. 2x6 decking and 2x10 rafters, 2x10 joists. Show you the outside of the house here. treehouse here. Uh, this is fully insulated and weatherproofed. Uh, six windows in this one. And carpeted floors. It stays very cozy and warm. This can double as a yoga studio or a kid's room or um, whatever you want.
want it to be. Library, study, a very cute little place. You can see we have a lot of privacy here. You can't see neighbors. Mm -hmm. There's the gardens out there. It's winter time right now, so not a whole lot growing. Lots of forest views surrounded by forest. And the additional structures are optional, of course, with the house. I'd like to be able to sell it as one unit. I'm on a indefinite lease here, so whoever takes this over is going to be here for as long as they wish. Uh, the pathway out to the forest here, little gate, and there's just miles and miles and miles of trails back there. So that's it. Thanks for watching.